Three other members of the management committee who were re-elected are Councillor Samuel Angolo of Comasdal constituency, Nesta Kalola, the councillor of Samora Michelle constituency, and Stefanus Ndengu, the councillor of Moses Karwep constituency. During his acceptance speech, Chairperson John Monde of the Thomas Regional Council pledged to fulfill his duties to the best of his ability. He encouraged the members to persist and work hard to ensure that the citizens receive the services that they deserve. If that it is only through teamwork that we will be able to record enormous achievements and be able to win more. I'm as well calling upon all the commerce residents to join hands in partaking into the development of the region for the upliftment of the livelihood of the entire residents of commerce region. Rest assured that I will work tirelessly with my eyes on the vision and mission of the Regional Council, my ears open to the voices of all, and my heart committed to the population of commerce. The newly elected members were sworn in with a commitment to serve diligently. Reflecting on his experience as a chairperson, Monde acknowledged that the path to becoming a chairperson has not been easy. However, with determination and the support of the committee members, they have achieved numerous successes. The Comas Regional Governor emphasized the importance of active participation and commitment to delivering the necessary services to the people. She urged the new members to refrain from engaging in blame games and instead work together towards a common goal for the benefit of the citizens. Time is also right to do the right thing. Let us participate and take charge to summon that desire, dedication and passion about what we do, to rise in unison about our circumstances for the development of our time with the understanding that commerce region is not solely for us as a generation. During John Monde's tenure, the Regional Council achieved several notable accomplishments. These include the renovation of a Hakahana clinic and the procurement of computers for Katutura Library. Since December 2020, the Council has successfully implemented and approved 11 socio-economic and infrastructural development projects, amounting to a total investment of more than over $33 million. The newly elected members will serve for the next two and a half years.